Hello friends, this is Music Man from his man cave, and the toys are in peril again. So, will they go into the attic? Will they go into the garbage? Or will Andy take them to college? We'll talk about it right now. Well, after Cars 2 and Brave, I was starting to see a little blemish with Pixar because they've had such mega hits, one after another, boom, boom, boom. And I was like, this company can do no wrong. These movies are absolutely outstanding. They're outstanding for children. They're outstanding for adults. So I, I wonder if they still had the magic when I went into Toy Story 3 at the movie theater. And uh, yep, Woody's still the, the big man on campus. And then we still have Buzz Lightyear. And then we have this new uh, bear that comes along called Hugs A Lot. And let me tell you, this bear has some serious anger issues about the way he was treated uh, by a family that uh, lost him. So, Toy Story 3. Uh, it is not one of the best movies of the year uh, that it came out. Um, it is probably one of the best animated movies that I've ever seen. Um, again, uh, we, have, we, have, we can connect with these characters. The first one came out back in the 90s. And I was a little concerned about some of the toys that were like uh, damaged by the boy next door were pretty creepy looking and pretty frightening. That might scare little children. In fact, the theater I was in, a kid started crying and had to be taken from the theater. And then the second one was as an absolute classic. And then this one, here it comes along and Andy's going to college and the, the toys are uh, again having to make some, uh, some fast and hard decisions about what's going to happen and how they're going to deal with the changes of life and so forth. And then at the end of this movie, we have one of the most touching scenes. And if it doesn't grab you by the heart and squeeze, then you don't have a heart. Because all of us remember those, day, those days when we're heading off to college and uh, we had to leave our toys behind. And I still don't know where mine are because I, I never really uh, went back home for any extended period of time. I ended up continuing on in college. And uh, my toys, are most of them are gone and they're lost or they were sold and they've been given away. But I do still have a few that are left from the time I was a kid. It just happened that my grandma ha held on to some. So if it doesn't get a hold of you, it, it you know it, you basically don't have a heart. It has one of the, the a, a great ending. Um, I, I don't know if I have a little bit of a dark side in me, but I I thought that the ending would have been you know uh, uh, I thought I was going to go in a very dark place there, and the the, the toys were going to be completely destroyed. And I was kind of thinking, well, I gotta. This is this is what they were talking about. It how sad it was going to be, but no, uh, uh, they uh, they managed to escape that. But there is a sad ending, and um, everyone can relate. So, Toy Story three, you definitely should have this in your collection on Blu-ray. It is an instant classic forever, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we know these characters. We love these characters. Um, uh, I can tell you this is still going to be a great movie uh, probably 25 years from now. Um, how it did not win an Oscar, I have absolutely no idea. I think that sometimes they should look at these movies. Great message. Uh, I love the message here about family, about belonging, about love, about changes in life. Um, it's a good movie. It's a great movie. I give it a 10 out of 10. Own it. Watch it. And, and have future generations enjoy it. Take care. Music Man from his man cave. Saying, see ya.